G'day! In today's video, I'm upgrading the NVMe SSD on an Asus TUF FA506i. So this particular one is running the Ryzen 4800H and I believe it's got a 1650 Ti in here. You will need a small Phillips head screw or screwdriver. So there's my larger tip, smaller tip. This should get us through the majority of what we need to do on here. So what we're going to have to do is take out the visible screws. Now I am expecting the front screws to be shorter than the back screws. Which is pretty much a norm. Also these two screws here do seem to be slightly different than these two. So I'm predicting they're going to be slightly well, specifically for no as I'm talking <laughs> I'm finding it they're all different sizes and the front ones which I say will be smaller So the two middle screws are long ones, the two outer screws are short ones. Alright, so I believe I've removed most of them, if not all of them, unless there's a few sneaky hidden ones. So I'm going to go over the side with the USB port on it and put a thin pry tool in between this gap here. Actually, where are we? Ah, I need to use a little bit more force. Where is the seam? There we go. The first time you separate these, it will take a fair bit of force to do. Okay. Once we've gotten around a single corner, we should be right to keep going. There we go. Now looking on the inside of it, there's not too much that can be upgraded or changed. We have a 2.5 inch drive bay over here, which you can put a just a SATA hard drive or a 2.5 inch SSD in here. We have a removable, removable 48 watt hour battery here, which if we disconnect that, as I'll need to do in a second. Over here, hidden, we have the NVMe. Under here, we have the RAM. Hmm, strangely, one free slot of RAM slot available on this particular variant. The power adapter is replaceable. So if you do any have any damage to the charger port, you don't have to be able to unsolder it. You can just open it up, take out these two screws and swap it. The fans both look fairly easy to re replace. Cooler. Is missing a little bit over here. That is, that is fine. I'd say a model above would actually have that copper extended over there. As we can see from here, the fan itself is blocked off. So it isn't wasting potential by blowing air two directions when it only needs to go one. So what I'm gonna do here is disconnect the battery. If it lets me, I'll zoom you guys in. So I'm going to disconnect the battery so I can upgrade the NVMe. I'm pushing on both these little tabs here and here and pulling towards me. There we go. 
go. Also, if you're upgrading the RAM, you'd want to do the very same. So, I'll start with the NVMe, and then afterwards I'll show you what you need to do to upgrade your RAM. So in this particular one, I'm using a P2 2 terabyte. Granted, I wouldn't really exactly classify these as performance NVMe's, as they will throttle after about 50 gig of transferring. That will be okay in this instance. Undo screw. Now, take this off. There we go. And pull back. We have a little copper sleeve. I'm not sure what actual NVMe this one here is. We'll take that out. Grab the replacement, slide the collar over it. You do want to make sure that it lines up with these grooves down here. Slide it in, slide the copper sleeve down. Help if I have that sleeve around the right way. Go like that. Got the copper sticking out over here. We do also have the Wi Fi card under there, so if you're going to upgrade it, that's where you're going to be finding it. Fold this back, push down, then down. And I did use a smaller screw, but my screwdriver I use from taking out the screws in the bottom is also suitable for here as well. Put this back over the top here. Then from here, I either have to clone from the old hard drive or do a fresh Windows 10 reinstallation. What's the RAM? So if you were to upgrade to RAM, we'll take this off. You pull these tabs out. And that just flicked up and out very quickly. So that slots in similar to the NVMe. Put it in at a 45 degree angle, make sure the pins are lining up and that little spacer in the middle is there. Pull it in, push down, install. You don't have to do anything further than that. Once you've physically got the RAM connected here, or upgraded over here, then that's all you need to do is just put it in. Windows and the motherboard will do the rest. Now we've got to reconnect the battery. So it should be a matter of lining this plastic tab bit here with here and vice versa. And then once we've got to line it up, you should just have to pull it in. Just work it one way then the other. And you should be connected up from there. So from here, you've either upgraded to RAM or changed your NVMe drive. And now it's a matter of reinstalling the bottom and putting the screws back in. So I'll put that back on. Have a look underneath. Just have a bit of bra bracing here and there. Nothing too special. Put it over the top. Push down. Should hear some crunching and some clicking. Most of which is normal. There go. Now it's a matter of remembering where the right screws go. So smalls go to the outer side. I did have one small screw over here that didn't want to come out. Click, click and screw. There we go. Next up, long screws or medium size along the front. The two long screws, I believe, come from here. So the two longest screws out of the bunch, here and here. Two shorter screws out of the bunch, here and here. And then basically put those in, and then every other screw fills in the rest of the gaps. So from here, what I'm going to do is continue putting these screws in. 
Then afterwards, I'm going to use a USB to NVMe adapter to then do a clone using a Cronus True image from the old NVMe to the new NVMe that I've just installed. And from there, everything that's on this old hard drive will be on the new hard drive and should be sweet to go. If you can't do that, then you'll be using the Windows 10 USB install tool and do a fresh install of Windows 10 onto the M brand new NVMe and you'll be up and going from there. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.